take it exactly here welcome back to another episode of reinforcement detailing in Revit. okay mm. in the previous class we were able to create some sections so today i'm going to start with detailing first of all you can see if you can if you've noticed i changed some settings which is the, the diameter so if i select you can see this is 10 m while this should be 16 m all right i don't really know if that's the standard board i selected a different diameters for this i have 19m also okay my foundation 14 is a bit too small the foundation 14 is a bit too small i can change the height if i want select all instances and then tab select all instances and then tab project should be much more better edit i want the thickness something like this if it may uh, let's say 400 I wonder should be too much something like this should be okay all right so I changed the thickness and I have something like this okay so for this one I did not change it but let me change it Let me see, it should be 19 also. Okay. And for this one here, this and this. I think I should just leave it as it is because it is it is an area reinforcement so Changing it will be the entire thing altogether. Let's leave it the way it is. Okay, you can access your schedule here. Either you right click and say new schedule, or you can go to view here, arrow drop down and say schedule and quantities. Cancel. I want to save. Nice. So look for your structural reverse. These are all list of schedules. Um, in the future I'm going to create I'm going to try as much to see how to explain each and every schedule in future but for now let's just stick to our structural reverse okay so now what do I want let's say bar diameter in bar length in mm. can add in a cost host category in image also in the mm, so quantity Reinforcement volume total by length offering. So I would like this to start with um, host category all the way to the top bar diameter bar length. Okay, the cost I want it to be at the and image hmm. let's just leave it this way um, quantity total bar length should be here and this I think the image should be at the end is much more better for the cost I will have to add a price to my 
but let's just okay we have something like this we have something like this now um, let me go to my section my section 2 okay so let's say select all instances in the entire project I think it will select the one similar to that and then let's go to sorry edit here you can see cost you can add a cost to it let's see hmm cost okay so what the schedule click on this place open it up I think you should have a cost so you can see I have a cost added so if I'm going to select all of them which is the 13m, the 10m, the 16m, I will all have a cost applied to my cost schedule. So for now, let me just remove the cost out of the way. I did not plan for the cost from the beginning. I have to plan for the cost. I have to insert all the cost to that. For now, let's keep that aside. Delete. Okay. Perfect. What I want here is I would like to filter it. First of all, I need the grand totals, formats, host category, bar diameter. I want calculate the total. Calculate the total. Total balance. Calculate the total. Quantity, total, volume, total, and apply. So we have all the totals for each and every category. Okay, so what do I want? This. I'm going to change it to type here. Yeah. Okay. So filter, I would like to filter by bar diameter. Mm, sorry. Not equal to, let's say, less than 20. Sorry. Sort in my type. Mm. Let's say okay. Alright, so here it is. We have 19M, 16M, 13M, and 10M. We only have their bad diameters here, the total bad diameters. Okay, so here is the bar length. And here's the quantity and here so if you're going to add an image let's say the 10 m is the smallest one which is a ring also you can add um, let's go to my desktop i think i have downloaded a few here okay so most of them it's either this this or this it's just basic I did not use any extreme shape to it. Mm -hmm. Let's say add. So you can see mm -hmm. this one, the 13M. And thing is also straight. This one should change to this. Okay. And this one here. 
which is the 19m is that of is that of the foundation so I'm going to change it to this and this one is the area um, is the area reinforcement so let's make it this one just an assumption okay so let's go to sheet new sheet let's go with that no problem from here drag and drop you can drop it anywhere you feel like so you can see our image is now out okay the image you can see the image clearly nice nice in normal instances you can bring in your detail okay and bring in your section too and make this section a bit bigger and this 25 should be okay all right something like this You can have something like this on your sheet or you can decide to put this the, the new section I created so you see this is a 3d section so you have to change the crop size um, by scaling I want it to be 300 okay it's now big enough for me yeah. all right that's nice and the other one too if you want oopsie <laughs> I dropped the different let me just resize it there and scale into let's say 500 and press an ok all right we have something like this it's a bit big let me delete this guy so whatsoever you feel like is okay you can add it there to make people know that this is what you mean or how it's going to be that of the section I can change it to let's say one is to 200 and now um, bring it into my sheet it's still a bit small let me make it 100 and now uh, Hundred is still too small. Well, let's make it fifty. Yeah, go back. Okay, I think that's okay. All right. So for this one, you can shift them to their belonging positions. So you can have something like this and people will appreciate what you do okay so you can have something like this this shows that this is how the reinforcement is laid in 3d dimension and this is your section showing all the details and the levels this is your detail your call out and this is your 3d section so guys let's the same time tomorrow i think i'm going to i'm done with the section part for the what's the name for the schedule in future i'm going to create a very detailed a very detailed um, schedule that is in terms of wall columns beams 
everything i will create a course for that in the future but for now i have several courses awaiting to which i'm going to create first so let's see sometime tomorrow and let's try out the very test out how our very is going to work in this project okay so let's see sometime tomorrow for another episode thank you very much for watching goodbye